Imagine that you are sitting in the movie theatre, totally captivated by the movie and emotionally invested in the characters and their experiences. You are propelled on an emotional roller coaster as the plot unfolds. With your attention completely absorbed by the contents on the screen, you are utterly entranced and you temporarily forget your own identity, including your awareness of the fact that you are sat in a movie theatre. Suddenly, you wake up from the dream of the movie and you realise that you are the spectator of the film. A shift in awareness has occurred. You realise that you got lost in the contents of the movie and you sense a truer self. The emotional reaction is still there, but a weight has been lifted as you detangle yourself from identification with the movie's world to instead settle into the realization that the movie is no more than a temporary projection emerging within the contents of your consciousness. Imagine that everything observed in your life, in your awareness, is similar to the contents on the movie screen. So your body, your sensations, your thoughts, your emotions, your experiences, the whole kind of tapestry that weaves your world, it is all a movie projection appearing within the contents of your consciousness. So, you know, it all seems so real because we think that we are the main character. We think that we are the emotions and the thoughts and, you know, the narrator of the story. But the practice of witness consciousness, what it does is it it wakes us up from the dream (laughs) of the movie of your life. And we realize that it's all just a temporary sense of false identification. Imagine waking up from thought and sensing a witnessing presence that watches the inner narrator telling its stories, both positive and negative. Imagine zooming out of emotion and witnessing the temporary sensation occurring in the body. Imagine waking up from experiences as they unfold in your life and sensing a detachment since you have accessed the bigger picture. Now, in your new perspective and awareness, your entire life plays out in front of you like the moving pictures on a screen. And though the movie still plays out with the narrator, the emotions and the dramas, we remain aware of ourselves watching the movie. Since we have realized a deeper sense of self, we can better enjoy our life's movie in all of its beauty. Yet, we are not swept away by the illusion of a false reality. We are still very much engaged in the story, but we don't get lost within it. So, through seeing the contents of our life more objectively, things like our earthly happenings and our emotions and the contents of our mind, seeing all of this more objectively, we realize that this is actually something we are experiencing. We are experiencing these things and they do not define us. And we are not really actually suffering the death of the hero in the movie. And through realizing this, then we've actually established our our boundaries between what appears on the screen and reality and having established these boundaries we actually experience more peace and uh, clarity and freedom we learn to boldly face life's challenges in our outer and inner world with more wisdom In our position of observation, we are less reactive and more responsive to the world. We observe life without judgment and settle into a position of acceptance. With practice and time, we learn to wake up from our life movie more and more, and we learn how to dwell in our deeper sense of self. We sense the still, silent, watching presence in the background, and we bring it more to the forefront of our awareness. In doing so, we embody a lasting sense of joy that is inherent within our natural state of being, and we stop seeking temporary happiness in a finite fictional world. So how can we learn to live more as the watcher, realizing deeply that the movie of physical life isn't all there is? Well, we meditate. (laughs) It all starts with meditation, and I mean a formal sit-down practice. 
You see, this practice, what it does is it helps us to see past the limiting contents of experience. And it is a practice that actually trains you to find the, the watcher, to find the watcher of the movie within you. In meditation, we block out the senses that distract us and pull us into identification with the world. In doing so, we can better watch our thoughts and emotion. We can better watch our inner world. In time, we learn to focus more on the background stillness. Through our ability to observe our thoughts, we realize that we are not them. We wake up from the movie. We begin to sense the silent presence that watches all of our internal experiences play out. In time, we learn how to meditate everywhere, making a cup of tea, speaking to a loved one, walking in nature. And since we disidentify from the narrator in the mind, we really let go of believing the narrator's words, realizing its fictitious nature and as a result we have eyes to truly see to truly see and appreciate the incomprehensible beauty of the world around us in time we come to know awareness as the only constant in an ever-changing world awareness is always there it was there before our physical form and will remain there after now i don't know about you but this kind of makes me want to ask the question and it poses the question of who is the watcher who is the one that watches and this is what's known as the practice of self-inquiry and it's important to know that this is not necessarily a question that can be answered the watcher is unknowable however we can discover that there are certain layers of truth to be discovered within this question We could argue that the one that wakes up in the movie theatre and realises their false identification with the film has only grasped this concept intellectually, their attention only briefly shifting to a broader perspective. With only intellectual understanding, they run the risk of falling back into the dream of the movie. Perhaps there is another person in the movie theatre that sits more towards the back. This is the one that watches the watcher of the movie and the movie itself. This is the silent watcher, the pure awareness, the one who is constant and reactionless, undisturbed and still, simply witnessing all contents of experience without changing. The great spiritual teacher Ramana Maharshi said that our true nature is more representative of the movie screen itself. The contents of the screen is ever-changing, yet the screen doesn't change, just as pure awareness doesn't change, while the contents of our consciousness, or the things appearing in our life, constantly changes. Ramana Mahashi says that to truly know yourself as the screen is enlightenment. But nevertheless, we all have possess this ability to access and to recognize and to cultivate the watcher within us, this calm, peaceful awareness that watches everything as it unfolds. So I really hope that um, the analogy of the movie theater, it kind of helps you to maybe um, understand how witness consciousness works or what it's like what this process is like maybe from an intellectual standpoint but to really get that kind of experiential um understanding of of this practice then you know go and start meditating if you haven't started already really deep in your practice and as i say actually integrate mindfulness meditation into everything you do are you awake or are you lost in the illusion So thank you so much for watching this video. My name's Jasmine. Please like and subscribe. Um, I'm offering free 25 minute one-on-one sessions if you'd like to talk to me. And yeah, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye-bye.